Hey guys, it's Liam from Killer Inc here, and today we're going to be looking at the Dark Lab Kill Switch from FK Irons. The brand's first PAL switch, the Kill Switch, provides wireless control over compatible Dark Lab machines while minimizing cross contamination. So let's take a look. The purpose of the Kill Switch is simple but incredibly helpful to turn your Dark Lab device on or off without touching an external power supply with no mechanical parts inside to go wrong. The accelerometer sensors pick up on vibrations that activate and deactivate the full switch. On top of the kill switch, you'll see two LED lights. The blue light provides feedback from touch and the green shows that the battery is charging. The long lasting internal battery has a charging voltage of five volts and a charging current of 0.5 amps, which is channeled through the USB-C port on the side of the device. Just lift the rubber plug and you'll find the charging port. Make sure to use a dark lab cable and charger for best results and charge for at least five hours before using. The kill switch's power button is on the bottom, sitting alongside the built-in anti-slip mount which will keep all 104 grams of the switch securely on whatever surface you choose. In the tradition of dark lab products, the kill switch is fully Bluetooth compatible with the Powerbolt 2 and Powerbolt Plus, as well as lightning bolt and airbolt battery packs. You can also connect to the Dark Lab app for firmware updates and as an alternative means of control. To pair your compatible battery pack with the kill switch, simultaneously press and hold the up and down voltage buttons until the pack's LED indicator turns pink. When it finds the kill switch, it'll turn blue. And when verified, the LED will flash green once. That blue LED on the top of the kill switch that we mentioned earlier will flash every time you touch it to show that it's still connected to the battery pack. It's even easier to connect the kill switch to the Dark Lab app. Just open the app and scan for devices while near the kill switch. Only one device can be connected to the kill switch at a time, although devices which are turned off or are charging will automatically disconnect. So if one battery is charging, the switch can be connected to another. Turn the full switch on by pressing and holding the power button for 5 to 9 seconds. Holding it for 10 to 15 seconds will turn it off and holding for only 3 to 5 seconds will reset the device. The puck shaped power switch itself has a low profile of only 20mm and width of 9.5cm and can be used by hand as well as feet. The simple shape and subtle profile make it easy to wrap using barrier film or with a suitably sized power supply cover. Engineered and manufactured in the United States by FK Irons, the Dark Lab Kill Switch is available to order from Killer Inc on its own or in a bundle with the Powerball Plus via the link in the description below. So now we've had a look at the Dark Lab Kill Switch, what do you think? Is this your next must have piece of equipment? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel.